In today's session, we are going to see a very different tool. It's a free application which helps you in searching files extremely fast. I was introduced to this tool very recently and I was surprised that I did not know about it earlier and how did I live without it. So let's get started. This tool is called Everything. It's an app, Windows app. It's called Everything. So let's uh, actually see how to install it. Don't do it now, but after the session you do it and you'll definitely thank me for showing you this. My friend Anindo showed this to me, I think around eight months back. And since then, every day for searching, I have never used Windows search. I have used this. So it's that good. So how do we install it? How do we install it? Very simple. We go to void tools. And I will post this URL in the chat right now. So you can also get it. Just download the relevant version. Ideally, most of us will have uh, Windows 64 bit. So install the 64 bit version because it will be faster. And that's it. Once you install it, it just starts working. So how does it really work? Get and install is very easy. It's a small tool, does not take up any space, does not take up processor and memory also. It's a very, very small footprint. So let's see it in action. So this is the everything tool. Very simple. How do you use it? Just type what you want here. So let's say I want to search for the word YouTube. Notice while I'm typing, it is doing this. It's really, really fast. And uh, how does it work? As soon as you install it, it indexes everything in seconds, literally in seconds, and just starts working. Compare that with Windows search. That's going to be very painful. So generally what happens in Windows search, and give me a second to get the Windows search on screen so that if I can compare the two. So when I have Windows search, what happens? I click on the search and then let's say I type YouTube. Notice first of all what happens? It gives me all kinds of search results. So what is it showing me now? Sorry. It's showing me YouTube and then it's giving me something like best match, social media, then work and web is very confusing. Essentially, when we are searching, we want files and that too from the local drive. And this requires an extra click to go to documents. Now, even if you do that, it's still giving me so many options. This document, SharePoint, this, that, which is a good thing is going across my organization and fetching files. But if I want quick and dirty search, this is a very, very painful thing to do. Now, notice what happened here. The moment I typed YouTube, it just gave me YouTube. Let's type LinkedIn. Done. As simple as that. While I'm typing, it's working beautifully, fast and instant. So that's so obvious that you will never go to a typical Windows search or a fire a file explorer search for this purpose ever because this is so much better. In fact, I'm not doing anything right now and look at my screen. What is happening? Everything is still working. And what do I mean by it is working? It is actually live looking at all the files which are getting created or changed across my PC. I'm not doing anything. The search text is empty right now still. So for whatever reason, these things are dynamically changing because I have this modified date modified descending order. So many things are happening behind the scenes and obviously I don't want to see these. 
So first let's make it more sensible so that only relevant files are shown. Otherwise these temp files and whatever is happening behind the scenes at Windows system level we don't want to see. So what do you do? You go to tools and options and then you exclude hidden and system files and that will get rid of that thing which was happening. On the other hand, if you are a developer and you want to or you are an IT person and you want to see what files are being generated dynamically, this is a brilliant tool. It's like a file monitor if you enable the system and hidden files. But right now we are not going there. Fine. So let's see simple searches. So if I want, let's say PDF files, just say PDF. I don't have to say extension colon star dot PDF, nothing, just PDF. Similarly, if I say doc, for example, of course, it's going to search for the word doc anywhere in the file name. So it found whatever this thing is, but it is also going to find doc and docx. So very simple, very fast. So let's try something. I'm going to search for doc. What happened? It did search for doc, but it's not specific to extension called doc. You want only doc or docx files to be searched because old is doc and new word files are docx. New means 2007. If you want that, then you say extension colon. And then you will get only doc files. Am I only getting doc files? Yes, I am not getting docx. So if you want doc x also dot m also then you can do doc star or you can just say doc x in which case you will get doc x simple and effective very nice so easy stuff now one of the very common things we do is search for folders and that becomes really painful because in windows you have to say something dot and not really good so how do you search for folders? How do you search for folders? Let me show you. Here we have a special keyword called folder. Folder colon blog. Now it will only give me results where the word blog appears in any folder. So this is really useful. Folder blog. Folder colon blog. Easy and effective. So that's how easy it is to search for folders. Very often we have zip files. Zip files are a special type of folder that way. So let's see how to search for zip files. So if I go here, there is a special keyword here called zip colon blog. Now it is only going to give me zip files which contain the word blog. What is the syntax? Zip colon blog. Easy and effective. Very nice. Let's go next. Size and time are again two things which we use commonly. So there is a very nice syntax here for various types of dates. What do I mean by that? So let's look at the search syntax. So it's a good idea. First time you use it to go to this, go to help and go to everything help, which is what I'm showing you here. So in help, we have many topics. And there is something called searching related help. So these are different kinds of search options available to us. You can have and or and all that. But what I'm talking about is these. These are, never mind, they are called macros. Zip colon, only search for compressed files. So it could be zip, rar, whatever. It understands different types as well. Very nice. Similarly, we have doc, exe, pic, video and various different formats. So if I say something like audio, which is a keyword, so to say, audio colon OneDrive, audio colon, notice it is giving me MP3 as well as WMA as well as M4A. So all audio formats. Similarly, if I say pic, what is it giving me? pictures which contain the file contains the word YouTube and they are all types of pictures PNG, JPG and so on. So it's very very useful. Windows does have something equivalent of that but it's called kind colon and that's a very comprehensive syntax but most people don't know it 
and even if you know it it's slower than this so what's the point fine now generally what happens we shun we know the file name and we know the extension how do we put two and two together so you have to struggle with star dot something like that that's not really required so for example i want to search for an svg file which contains the word office so now i don't know the syntax when to say dot when to say star nothing so i am just typing office space svg it does the job very very fast similarly i can do any extension and any file name very effective now when it comes to time time means what when was the file modified created and stuff like that so there we have very very useful syntax so here is the deal when it comes to syntax of time related stuff so let me go to the time area it has many things which it understands by default like year month is that and these are common things which understands like jan feb march not only that today yesterday current this coming week coming month so these can be used in combinations and along with that we have various other options as well so when it comes to content searching it can be really useful in terms of different kinds of formats so it has something which is called uh, dm means date modified dc means date created and so on and so forth just give me a second i need to interrupt this and i'll be back in a couple of seconds 30 seconds please pardon okay i am back so it has many very nice useful syntax options which allow you to search by date created date modified and so on and so forth so the simplest thing you need to remember very often we don't bother and we don't want to know when was the file created but i want to search for files i created yesterday for example so that's dm date modified remember that syntax so what happens now if i want to say date modified dm colon what is it going to show me yesterday and it's going to show me all the files and i want to show ppt so as you know yesterday's topic was mouse so i created a ppt for that so it's just giving me that it's that simple and need not be yesterday today i want to see which files i created in 2003 for example of type ppt because that time there was no pptx pptx came in 2007 these are the files i had created in 2003 and very very fast so very useful stuff based on time similarly for size also it has options what does that mean when i go to size you can have different types of syntax based on size size colon size what does that mean it has some simple stuff for size you don't have to know the exact size for example if you want to see something between 16 mb and 128 mb you just say huge so if i want to know my presentations which are very big i don't know the exact size obviously what do i type no problem i go here and type size colon gigantic and pptx so see i have many pptx which are 290 mb and so on very very useful stuff another nice thing based on size and of course these can be combined with each other so you can say time 2003 size gigantic also possible and then like 
Windows File Explorer, it also gives you a preview. What does preview mean? A file preview. And of course, it's obviously using Windows API. So everything is written in Windows. So technically, Windows itself could have created a search like this. But never mind that part. So now, when I go to view, I can have preview also enabled. Alt P, same shortcut as Windows File Explorer. And then if I see something, it will show me preview. So this is a very large file. Never mind that, but we will. it is showing me the preview. In fact, it's showing me exactly the same preview which Windows Explorer will show me. Of course, Windows Explorer has more options. You can actually go across slides and stuff like that, but at least the preview is available. So if I say pick, this is the preview. So I so I'm typing pick, for example, YouTube and subscribe YouTube poster, for example. How do I enable preview, view and preview? So in view, I have enabled the preview, Alt P. And now wherever I click, it will give me the preview like that. Simple and effective. All right. Now, one of the most important things is very often we have a file open dialog. You open the dialog and say search this file or let's say insert attachment in email and then you intend to put a file and after opening the dialog you realize oh i don't remember the file that's a very very common requirement so let's see how that kind of thing can happen very very nicely using a feature of this so i have an email here which i'm going to open and i want to attach a file now recent files of course are there in the attach file dialog but if you don't know it, then you'll have to say browse and then you'll have to struggle as to which is that file. Isn't this a common thing? So how do we solve this problem? So I have a file which is I can't find in the recent files. And now I need to find that file. So what have I done? I have said attach file. I couldn't find it here. So I went to browse and now I'm struggling to find the file. This is a very boring thing. Now at this stage, the only choice you have is search in this Windows thing and it's really f slow. Yeah, whatever you do, it is slow. So now I want to put everything app to task. So keep this dialog open right now. And let's say I want to find a file which is a PPT file and it talks about uh, efficiency and it is uh, modified uh, last week, uh, yesterday, something like that. So anyway, I found a particular file. Now the problem is this is a separate window. This is a separate window. This is a separate window. How do I find the exact path of this file? So you right click on the file and say copy full name, full name, not path, full name, very important. Copy full name to clipboard. I don't have to even know which path, which folder it is in. This folder has nothing to do with this folder. So I just go here and paste it. This is the exact file which it will find and attach as expected. This is really, really useful. And just to make it even more useful, you have to remember one shortcut. What is that shortcut? Now, what did I have to do? Right click on the file and say copy path, right? That's not really required. Shift Alt C is the shortcut you have to remember. It will take the full path of the currently selected file. It's really simple, really effective, and then you just put it here. So that's what I mentioned here. Shift Control C is the thing which you have to use as a shortcut. Very useful shortcut. In fact, after starting to use everything, I discovered the shortcut a couple of months later. But now that I know it, I'm telling you upfront. Of course, the view in everything need not be just a file view. It can be thumbnail view as well. So what I was showing you is this. Here, you go to edit, view, file. In this, shift, control, C. This is the shortcut you have to remember. 
really useful shortcut. On the other hand, if you wanted to open the folder, control enter is the shortcut or you could have said open path, which will open the actual folder. And if you click enter, obviously it is going to open that particular file. Now you'll notice that when I clicked on this file, it took a little while because these are files on demand. So it had to download the file from one drive. That's why it took a little while. So that's about. And then we have some very nice combination syntax which can be used. So I'm going to show you a few types of syntax which I'm sure you will like and then we'll finish. So here is the syntax. What am I showing here? Things like this folder colon blog. I have already shown you, size already shown you. Now this also shows a folder and in the folder we want to search. So if I say for example a folder called images slash that means it is going to search only in the folder which folder name contains the word images and I am going to search for pptx no problem. And how do I know this is correct? I can click on the file and actually see the path. It will be exactly the correct type of file. So what is this path? You will notice there is the folder images here. Like that, if I go to any of the paths which is being shown here, the word images will be there in the path. That's the idea. Let me remove this preview part. So I'm going to remove the preview so that it doesn't have to download and increase this. Notice wherever you go, images is there. So very nice. Then pick colon word. What does that mean? I'm searching for all kinds of pictures where the file name contains word, the spelling of FWRD. We have seen that. P star N, of course, it understands. P star N means it, the file name should contain a word which starts with P and ends with N. And let's say it's type folder. So I can say folder colon. So now notice all these folders are starting with P and ending with N like that. Very useful. And lastly, it can also search for and or syntax or so search for the help and you'll understand it. For example, I want to search for pictures which contain the word YouTube or contain the word or means pipe symbol or LinkedIn. No problem. So it is searching for pictures either containing this or that and there can be a long list like that. And finally, I have also shown you this, but again, I want to search for a file which I have created in 2007 or before. So date modified less than 2007 and it was a file of extension XLS. Done. So I'm sure you must be very happy with the fact that this works so fast and so beautifully. This is just the beginning. You can have much more sophistication with that, but I'm sure the point is driven home that this is an indispensable tool. This is a free tool. Nobody is sponsoring it. I am showing this to you because I find it so useful. So I'm sure you will find it useful as well. The only limitation and the reason why this is fast and why Windows is slow. Let me also tell you that because remember this is written using Windows API. So why is this fast and Windows slow? Not because Microsoft is incompetent, because Windows search searches inside the text of files as well. Whereas everything app does not search inside the file content. That's the difference. That's why it is so fast. So if you go to search and uh, advanced search, it does give you search for a word or phrase inside the file. But notice there is a exclamation mark written there, a warning which says file content is not indexed. That's not the job of this tool. It's not aiming to do that. There is no way to do that. End of story. So it is doing one job, search for file and its attributes and that it's doing amazingly well. So focus tool, really useful, start using it. There are many other things related to it like removable drives, network drives and all that, but that's later. Just start using it 
and then learn incrementally as we go along. If any of you are technical people, it does support a regex kind of syntax for more complex thing. So if I say regex, it does uh, have all the kind of regular expression kind of syntax as well in case you want to do some more sophisticated search. So I hope this was useful and I'm sure you're going to download and start using it instantly. So best of luck, happy searching. That's it for now. See you tomorrow.